just for fun, I've got a rusty piece of metal here. It's pitted pretty bad, I and mean, it's, it's, it's pretty rusty. It's not just surface rust. Uh, it looks like this was painted at one time, but, you know, that's really in this area. All this looks like rust. And it's dirty. So, what we're going to do, just because I'm curious, is I've got this rust reformer that I bought. You know, I don't know what I'll use it on. I just figured I'd check it out and see what happened. But we're going to check out this versus just an automobile primer over rust. Now, these are both Rust-Oleum, so should be a pretty, pretty fair test, I guess. If you have rust, always, you want to treat the rust. Um, the best thing is to cut it out. If you can't cut it out, then use something like this or the Pour 15 or something like that. Don't just spray primer over it because it won't go away. It'll just grow underneath it and next thing you know you'll, you'll have holes and it'll just be a mess. So per the instructions of this, preparation says remove loose paint and rust with wire brush and sandpaper or lightly sand glossy surfaces. That's fine. I got a wire brush. Clean with soap and water. Screw that. Uh, and something about lead and then shake can, blah blah blah. It's regular how you, how you use a spray can. I'm just going to brush it off with the wire brush <laughs> a little bit. I'm not even going to do it that good. If I was smart, I'd just use my grinder with a flat disc. But we're following the instructions. I think that's good enough. keep some kind of division I'm gonna put a couple of a couple of strips of this tape if I can never find the end of it and that also give us a comparison to untreated I don't have any wide tape but <laughs> this will work for what for what I want it to I'm not going to paint this whole panel because that would just be useless. All right, first we'll start with this stuff. It's supposed to, it's, it's called rust reformer. It's supposed to change the rust into a, uh, pretty much a primer surface, so you can paint over it if you want to. It doesn't say that you have to, it just says that you can. Um, it's got a picture of a metal chair, like a yard, yard chair. So, let's see what happens. I'll spray a little bit of it. already shaking it up and that's good tip just comes right off
Okay, I'm not going to put too thick of a coat because I want to see what it does. I ended up painting the whole panel anyway. I know I said I wouldn't, but... I don't care about getting paint on the table, so... Let's spray just some primer on the other side. Now I can tell you right now that the primer sprays a lot thicker than the rust reformer. Alright, well, you can definitely tell a color difference, of course, because they're two different colors. But we'll let this rust reformer dry. Of course, we got our control. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll check it out in a little while. All right, it's been about 25, 30 minutes of letting it dry. The uh, automobile primer says that, let's see, it is prime preparation, priming. Dry and recoat times. Um, it says dries to handle in 15 to 30 minutes. So we're we're about at 30 minutes. <coughs> the rust reformer actually says allow to dry for 24 hours. So it doesn't even say anything about dry to touch or anything like that. Um, I will show you, however. At about the same time, they appear to be drying about the same. I'm guessing that the 24 hours is for the time it takes to actually chemically react with the rust. Uh, I'm going to show you a close-up now, after 30 minutes, and then I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow, about lunchtime or something, you know, it's 10.30 at night now. Um, about lunchtime tomorrow, I'll probably... Hit it with an old flap disc I have just to kind of get some of it off and see kind of what's underneath it. And I'll record that. And funny enough, I'll show you the, the ghetto selfie stick. I, I took a picture of it. I'll put it in the video. I really need to make a mount for the camera. So there's the surface that the rust reformer was sprayed on. You see it's still pitted, obviously, because I guess it doesn't feel that good. There is our control. Actually, all three of them right there. It's like Neapolitan ice cream almost. And here is the primer surface over rust. kind of hard to hold this stick still
All right, so tomorrow, tomorrow we'll hit it with a flap disc and see what happens, see what we can uncover. You know, I might as well show you guys regular paint over rust, not primer or not rust reformer. I'll show you just regular paint, what happens. That's why I said you always want to treat rust. See, this is, this is just a, a big spider web that Travis made. Let's see, we painted it with that green paint. No primer, didn't sand it, prep it, anything. And you can see the rust is actually coming through it. And that was, that was only a few months that we did that. Now, right there in the middle, you can see it's pretty good. But when you come down towards the edges, you know, we only had one can, so we actually didn't get the coverage we wanted either, but I think it still looks pretty neat, but just as a, a heads up of, of what will happen if you don't prep it and actually put some type, you, if you don't treat the rust, if you just put primer on it, yeah, it'll last a little bit longer, but you're still going to have the same result. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's been about 12 hours since we sprayed with rust reformer on that side of the panel over rust versus just regular automobile primer on that side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my grinder and I'm going to grind a little bit with the flat disc and see if I can uncover some rust without going too deep. Uh, we'll see what happens. Safety first. Alright, my initial impressions, and I'll show you when we get up close, I applied the same amount of pressure, um, barely any, on both sides, and I did a little more here in the middle just to show you how rusted through it is. Um, my first impressions is this, this showed a lot less rust. Whenever I, I ground it off, whereas the primer, you know, it, it went right back to pretty much this. Now I still see a lot of rust in here. Of course, I didn't let it cure the full 24 hours either. I don't know if it would have reacted or not. Tell you what, let me show you guys for yourselves. Take my mutant selfie stick out, or as my boss calls a facey. So there's the primer. As you can tell, it came right back. There's our control. And there's our rust reformer area. 
on the camera it looks a lot more rusty so I don't know if you can tell the difference I'll let you guys judge so does rust reformer work better does it actually do anything different than primer I don't know If anybody cares, let me know what you think. We'll catch y'all later.